Hello everyone, uh, on this lecture we are going to talk a little bit about the image and understand how the image is represented on this three-dimensional array uh, and how can we usually, uh, easily manipulate um, an image with NumPy. Um, so just to understand a little bit, so um, an image is represented in three-dimensional array and this last um, uh, NumPy array here would, help, would show how that it's um, uh, it's represented so it's a three-dimensional array you have each uh, uh, dimension or this z dimension will contain data for a uh, for a color so or uh, red green and blue and but when you are manipulating or let's say applying image processing we usually work on only with two-dimensional array where we we'll choose just one um, one color and we will apply all the processing against one uh, single color because we are more interested in and look at the let's say the representation of the image uh, based on the edges and some other things and so most of the time you don't need the the three uh, dimensional array and you're going to see that a little bit here in this example so um, this uh, you're going to run if you are uh, uh, running this uh, notebook on Colab, so to download some uh, required asset. And um, here we read uh, our image and then you get the array with this uh, representation of this image. And you can see this representation down here, you can see the, the, the shape. So as you can see, you have the and say the the size of the image uh, represented uh, e uh, each uh, pixel from this image is represented as one position on the array right so you can see 100 uh, 1300 by one 1950 it is the the size of the the image and uh, that's the position in our array and you can see that there is this three dimension array uh, which we were already explaining how it is here we are going to see that the data that it's contained on this array it is you can see that is a three dimensional array here and each pixel on the array will contain uh, a value for a rgb um, representation so on this on the pixel on the very first pixel we have 95 as a value for the uh, probably the red uh, the 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 red the red um, from the RGB representation and here you can see that we can plot the image only with a color they want and before, in order to do that you have to add zero uh, values um, for the, the others um, and the other colors so in this case here we apply zero for green and blue and then it will contain only red and down here you do the same but this, this time to red and blue and then you can only plot the the green and you did it for the blue as well and here we pick up only one uh, uh, let's say only one dimension and uh, this way we ignore all the other uh, dimension and you just get one color and this way you just make it gray um, by con because you have only one color and you apply this uh, color map to gray that is most of how we we manipulate the image we work with this uh, dimension so one single dimension and one single color and just uh, identify the brightness of the uh, of the the color um, so you can we're going to show some transformation on this array it's a simple array and you can manipulate it as any other data so in this case here i'm subtracting uh, the max uh, value for the RGB uh, data so and this way we are applying a negative uh, positive uh, inverted image value so you can see here here we apply another um, uh, let's say um, uh, transformation and with you can you can see you can do multiplication you can do some subtraction and exponential as well and everything you can kind of do any 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 transformation on the every picture and you get the result and you can also concatenate with some that already exist and this way we form uh, another image with two uh, two parts of it so concatenated and here you can choose to to uh, crop as well the image so you choose where from when to start until where where to finish on this here is the row so we start 
uh, 100 if you take you see on this image it will be more or less from here and it will be until 100 uh, 1200 would be more or less here so and the 600 would be more or less here and you can see uh, where it's cropped uh, perfect we can transform the array and just plot the, the result of this array um, we also can concatenate as I already showed so with the result of the image that we have created uh, before so this I think give a, a good overview of uh, the image representation and, and how we can manipulate the image uh, easily uh, just treating the image as one multi-dimensional array we are going to see more transformation on the uh, when you are talking about some the, the image convolution and but it will be basically doing apply more uh, transformation on uh, the numpy array okay i hope uh, you found that interesting and see you next lecture